another lippy review. So today we are doing a liquid lipstick by Patrick Ta, and this is the Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Creme in She's Independent. So it's this kind of slightly pinky, mauvish kind of a nude. Um, apparently this is $24, crazily enough, which seems steep for what it is, but maybe it'll end up being worth it. So, I'm not sure how much product is in there off the top of my head. I'm trying to read it. It's really, really itty-bitty. Um, not sure that I can read that, actually. It is, like, freakishly small. I think... These are like 0 0.23 or 0 0.25 fluid ounces that are in there, but not positive on that. Like I said, it's freakishly tiny writing. But anyway, so format-wise, it is a liquid lipstick with a slightly bent doe foot. <laughs> um, and it's just like this little paddle shape. It's kind of got the little divot thing down in the middle got kind of a vanilla mint scent to it, which I was not expecting, but I am liking it. So packaging-wise, it's just um, like rectangular and cubey, very just utilitarian, blocky, but gets, gets the job done. And it's nice that it's square like this, because by having flat surfaces, it won't roll off your desk or wherever you've got it, which makes it great. So, um... I believe this is synthetic, not organic. It's not part of a set, but it is part of a line. Don't think it's limited edition. Not medicated, no SPF, no special features. And I already mentioned the scent, it's like vanilla mint. So let's swatch on the hand first. So one swipe looks like that. A lot more pigmented than I was actually expecting for some reason. So let me grab the mirror. use my dominant hand for this. Kind of like a pinkish beige. Interesting color, but not sure how I feel about it on me. Like, just bottom lip to top lip. It's not that huge of a jump, but the shift it did make to be more brownish, I'm like, mm, I don't know how I'm feeling about that. Maybe on someone else, but on me, I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Okay. So that is about how we're looking. I mean, it's not the worst color in the world, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Even when my hair, mo actually, when my hair was brown, I probably would have hated it because it would have been just way too monochromatic, just brown tones everywhere, not into it. But at least with the red, it offsets it a little. But it's still just kind of almost sickly looking on me. I'm like, mm. on a different skin tone, I bet this looks a lot better. But on me, I'm like, this is not my color. But that's not the fault of the product. That's the fault of me. Uh, even though I didn't pick it out specifically, it came in one of those Sephora um, value sets. So I did not pick out the color. A lot of the colors in that set just were not my thing. This one was like borderline to the point where I was like, 
uh, I, I might be able to use that, but I am unsure. <laughs> but now I'm like, ooh, that's unfortunate looking. But I'm gonna take a thumbnail real quick, so I will be right back. Okay, while I was up, I washed my hand and everything, and while I was in the bathroom under the fluorescent light, I think I figured out what my knee-jerk reaction against this shade is. It's not so much that it's a bad shade. It's not even that it's necessarily the worst shade on me specifically, although I do feel like it's not great on me. Imagine it with, like, a slight glitter, like, shimmer in it. And basically, this is like the color I was hung up on through most of 8th grade that I thought I looked like hot shit in. And then I look back in photos and I'm like, oh, that's an unfortunate look. And now I'm like, oh, looking at this, that's unfortunate. I'm like, that's it. That's the knee-jerk reaction because apparently somewhere in my subconscious, I think I'm linking the two colors. So it's not the fault of this product, it is the fault of my mental associations with it. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, it did take a bit of scrubbing to get it off of my hand, for what it's worth, so maybe it'll have some chance at staying put, I don't know. Um, it is kind of sticky, which I wasn't expecting, but it doesn't feel like hella drying either. But at the same time... If I purse my lips, I feel like I can feel it in every little line in my lips, almost to a flaky degree, and it's like, oh, oh, nope, nope, don't like that. Um, does not have a flavor. Didn't expect it to. Uh, let's see, how bad is the transfer? Ah, uh, pretty bad. And now I'm gonna have to wash my hands a second time. Why did I not think this through? Look, that's what. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the drink test. I am not expecting great things, but let's find out. Mm. It doesn't look hella different. But I see a fuck ton of lipstick on this glass, so I'm like, ooh, it had to have come from uh, somewhere. Obviously me, but uh, I'm not really seeing any missing spots, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not very wowed by this one, so I'm not going to get the wow factor point. So, let me think, what am I going to rate it? For what it is, it does seem overpriced. Certain lipsticks can get away with it, this one is not one of them. I'm sorry, it doesn't feel like it's deserving of it. Um, I'm not gonna dock it down for the color because again, that's not the product's fault. That's a, it just, it doesn't look good on me, but I'm sure it looks great on somebody else. So, um, but the fact that anytime I purse my lips or go to like drink or anything, that I feel it in all those little lines and crevices, just, mmm, not about that. It transfers badly, um, no wow factor. So I think I'm going to rate this one a 6 out of 10, which is slightly, slightly above average, but still very much average. Would I recommend this one? No, I don't, I don't think I would personally, but if some of you guys out there love it, more power to ya. <laughs> so, anyways, that is gonna be it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.